In today's video, I'm gonna reveal the bombshell in the 2022 Social Security Trustees Report. Hey folks, I'm best-selling author David McKnight. I've long talked about the unsustainable fiscal trajectory of the Social Security program, but the 2022 Trustees Report raises a sharp warning cry about the catastrophic short and long-term trajectories of the program. Let's consider Social Security's short-term viability first. We know that as of 2021, the amount of money flowing into the program each and every year was not enough to meet all of the payments going out. What does that mean? It means that in order to meet its requirements, Wired outgoing payments, Social Security had to dig into its trust fund. To quote the report, quote, OASDI cost has been generally increasing much more rapidly than non-interest income since 2008 and is projected to continue to do so through about 2040. In this period, the retirement of the baby boomer generation is increasing the number of beneficiaries much faster than the increase in the number of covered workers as subsequent lower birth rate generations replace the baby boom generation at working ages, close quote. In other words, the surplus that had built up over the years as baby boomers plowed money into the program is now beginning to draw down as the same baby boomers move out of the workforce to the tune of about 10,000 per day and onto the rolls of Social Security. At the current pace, the trust fund runs out in 2035 and the incoming revenue based on current levels of taxation would only be enough to pay 80% of scheduled benefits. Let's look at this from a different angle. Historically, Social Security has provided the the average retiree roughly 38% of their average income during their working years. Starting in 2035, that number goes down to 27%. What does this mean? This means that to meet your lifestyle needs in retirement, Social Security will be playing a smaller and smaller role moving forward. And to fill that gap, you'll have to save even more of your paycheck between now and when you retire in order to compensate. Okay, folks, it's time for the Power Zero question of the day. What do you you think is the best solution to permanently fix Social Security? Go ahead and put your answers in the comment section below. Okay, now let's look at Social Security's long-term outlook. According to the trustees report, the unfunded obligation for Social Security is a present value of $20.6 trillion. What does that mean? That means that in order to shore up Social Security and make it viable through 2096, we would somehow have to conjure up $20.6 trillion and stick it in the savings account, earning treasury rates, by the way, that account would have to be sacrosanct and couldn't be rated to pay for pet political causes like uh, the Social Security Trust Fund has been in the past. Put differently, in order for Social Security to remain fully solvent throughout the next 75 year projection ending in 2096, there are three possibilities. So pick your poison. The first alternative is revenue would have to increase by an amount equivalent to an immediate and permanent payroll tax increase of 3.24 percentage points to 15.64% beginning in January 2022, so about six months ago. The second alternative is scheduled benefits would have to be reduced by an amount equivalent to an immediate and permanent reduction of 20.3% applied to all current and future beneficiaries effective January 2022, or 24.1% if the reductions were applied only to those who become initially eligible for benefits in 2022 or later. The third alternative, of course, is some combination of either increasing revenue or cutting benefits. So what are the Social Security trustees recommending lawmakers do? According to the report, lawmakers must, quote, address the projected trust fund shortfalls in a timely way in order to phase in necessary changes gradually and give workers and beneficiaries time to adjust to them. Implementing changes sooner rather than later would allow more generations to share in the needed revenue increases or reductions in scheduled benefits, close quote. This is what they're saying in plain English. If Congress acts now, the pain of fixing this program can be spread among baby boomers, Gen Xers, millennials, etc. However, every year that goes by where they fail to permanently fix the Social Security program, the pain gets concentrated on fewer and fewer generations. Not only does it get concentrated on fewer generations, but the sacrifices those fewer generations have to make becomes even more austere and more draconian. In other words, the longer Congress waits, 
states, the higher the taxes these younger generations can expect and the lower their social security benefits, which means they'll have even more taken out of their checks today and receive even less in benefits somewhere down the road. So what can you do about this from a retirement perspective? Two things. First, save more today. The more you save today, the less you'll be reliant on social security in retirement. Second, invest tax-free. Remember, as we march into a future where a greater percentage of the national budget will be consumed by social security, Medicare, Medicaid, and interest on the national debt, the federal government will need a huge infusions of cash in order to pay its bills. And who do you think is going to foot those bills? That's right, the American taxpayer. So if you have the lion's share of your retirement savings invested in tax deferred vehicles like 401ks and IRAs, you'll be on the hook. As the federal government raises taxes to meet their obligations, your after-tax distributions from those accounts will grow smaller and smaller by the year. In summary, the federal government has promised way more than it can afford to deliver and every year that goes by where they fail to put a permanent solution in place increases the likelihood that your personal tax rate will be going up. The 2022 Social Security Trustees Report does not equivocate in this regard. The best plan is to save more today and take advantage of tax rates while they're historically low and get your tax deferred assets systematically shifted to tax free. Shift those dollars slowly enough that you don't rise into a tax bracket that gives you heartburn, but quickly enough that you get all the heavy lifting done before tax rates go up for good. Make it your goal to shield yourself from future tax increases by getting to the 0% tax bracket by retirement. Why is the 0% tax bracket so powerful? Because if tax rates double, two times zero is still zero. If you need help protecting your retirement plan against the changes that Social Security is likely to undergo, head on over to davidmcknight.com. We're happy to lend a hand. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. And feel free to make comments or ask questions in the comment section below. This is David McKnight. I'll see you on the next video.